Since 2002, the International Festival of Sacred Music and Art has dedicated one of its concerts every year to the promotion of ecumenical dialogue. After Mozart's serenity, Haydn's sweetness, and Beethoven's hope, the deep faith of the Russian people came to the festival. The festival closed the 18th edition in the Basilica of St. Mary Major with the men's choir of the Danilov Monastery in Moscow. In the repertoire, we find important treasures of the liturgical musical heritage of the Russian tradition. Monastic music, spiritual poems of the Russian people based on liturgical texts, as well as the works of Western sacred music. Music has an eternal aspect. It brings the wisdom of the centuries. It brings the national code. Russian music is the code of the Russian people. Italian music is the code of the Italian people, and so on. Each nation had its own genes and composers who composed and tried to transmit this music, not only to the listeners of their country, but also to the listeners of this inner wealth and this inner fullness of the musical culture, of this national spirit. One of the most moving moments of the concert was the musical interpretation of a poem by the Russian writer Timur Zulfikurov. During this performance, the soul of the Russian people and their deep Christian faith flooded the Basilica of St. Mary Major. Music has a great ability for pacification. It could stop any military action and calm the souls and minds of people, those who may want to change this world. They will not be able to do so unless they are deeply rooted in their national musical culture.
Another significant moment was the participation of a young soprano who performed the Ave Maria by Schubert. This concert, where East and West embrace under one God, the Pro Musica e Arte Foundation concluded its 18th edition of the Festival of Sacred Music and Art in Rome. <laughs>